That is the raptured church. Forget about the tribulating members of, that were in the former church that are now left to face the tribulation. And so he's waking the church up. Work harder. This is the time to go into the harvest. The harvest is plenty. And surely we are seeing a lot of harvest. Let us look at the next revelation. The book of John chapter 5. What is the revelation the Lord embedded in the rapture of the dead when he presented it to me on the 26th of November, the year 2006? John chapter 5. I'm reading from verses 24 all the way to 28. He says, I tell you the truth. And you can underline the word here. If you every time meet here, you underline it. I tell you the truth. Whoever hears my word, underline the word hears, and believes in whom who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned, but has crossed over from death to life. Verse 25, John chapter 5. I tell you the truth. A time is coming and has now come when the dead will hear, underline the word here, when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear, underline the word here, will live, meaning not all will hear. A time will come, and has now come, when the dead in their graves will hear the voice of the Son of God. And those who hear, meaning not all will hear, look at the revelation, will live. Those who hear will live. Verse 26. For the Father has life in himself, and he has granted the Son to have life in himself. Verse 27. And he has given him authority to judge because he is the Son of Man. That's why the voice of the Lord said, and the majority have remained under the, under the dust of the earth. Meaning that is the day of judgment. That's another revelation. But continue in verse 28. Do not be amazed at this, for a time is coming... When all who are in their graves will hear, make sure you underline the word hear, his voice, and come out. Those who have done good will rise to live, and those who have done evil will rise to be condemned. He is talking about the two resurrections. The first resurrection during the rapture, and the second resurrection for those who remained under the dust of the earth on the day of judgment. So you begin to understand that the key word here, the key revelation here, that the Lord was speaking to the church by showing me the rapturing of the dead is that, listen to me, that not all will hear the voice of the archangel. Not all will hear the trumpet call of God. Not all will hear the voice of the Son of Man. Not all will hear about the announcement of the rapture. That means not all will be taken up. What a mighty revelation to the church. Let me bring it to another level. Who are those who will hear the voice of the archangel? Let me lift you to another level. That means those that have received the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit has sanctified them, purified them with the fire of the Lord, the fire of the Holy Spirit. And now their spiritual ears are open. They are walking as spiritual beings. They are the ones who will be able to hear. No wonder he says hear. He emphasizes the word hear, hear, hear. Those are the only ones that will be able to hear the voice of the Lord and will be raptured. Remember John chapter 11 verse 25. When Lazarus died and Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you were here, my brother would not have died. And the Lord gave the most important statement. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever dies and believes in me will rise to live. And whoever is alive does not die and believes in me will not see death. He was talking about the resurrection of those asleep under the dust of the earth who were walking in holiness before they died. And on the day of the rapture, because they believe in the Lord, and believing means and trusting him with your life, believing meaning following his word to the letter, believing meaning, receiving the Holy Spirit to unravel to you the mystery of the Messiah coming to redeem you so you are able to walk faithfully according to the ways of the Messiah, being the mirror image of the Messiah. And when you die on the day of the rapture, you too are able to be raptured 
into eternal life. Because you believed in him and entrusted him with your life. That means you became the mirror image of Christ before you died. And he said, I am the resurrection and the life. Now the life implies the, the translation of those who will be living at that time. Translated to be raptured of the Lord. Resurrected to rapture, translated to rapture. He was talking about the rapture. That's why you see when Jesus goes to the tomb now, he called out Lazarus. Lazarus, come out. And yet there were many people in that cemetery that were dead. And yet only Lazarus was able to hear, the key word is hear, heard the voice of the Lord and came out. He has so much power like the verse 27 says that and he has given him authority to judge because he's the son of man. He has so much power he could have commanded the entire cemetery to walk out. But only Lazarus heard the voice of the son of man and he came out. That's a prototype. That's a prophecy the Lord was giving about the rapture. That only those will be able to hear the voice of the son of man will resurrect and be caught up in the rapture. That's the revelation that is given on the mighty visitation of the 26th of November 2006 when he spoke to me and showed me the rapturing of the dead. He's telling the church, look, the Holy Spirit is central in preparing you for the rapture. Only the Holy Spirit can allow you to hear the voice of the archangel. What a mighty revelation to the church. He's talking about the supremacy and the centrality of the Holy Spirit in this entire process of preparing for the rapture. If you are somewhere and you know that this message has touched you and now you know that time is out and if the rapture took place today you are not ready, repeat this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of all my sins and I receive you as Lord and Savior. Let me live to please you. Please help me with the Holy Spirit. I open my heart. Fill me so I may enter into the kingdom of God, into the rapture of the church. In the name of Jesus.